This video goes over Cal Poly's 2018 innovation for the ASME Human Powered Vehicle Competition. The goal of this year's innovation was to build a reverse system into the bike without adding complexity for the rider. Shown here is the hardware that makes this possible. From left to right we have a chain going to the rear derailleur, a chain coming from the cranks, the reverse engagement system, a chain going to the rear wheels non-drive side, a Hall effect sensor for determining vehicle speed, below which is an encoder for determining pedaling speed and direction, and finally a microcontroller. Shown here is the test setup used for evaluating this system. Using the system sensors, we can determine when the rider intends to go backwards based on their pedaling and vehicle speed. This makes the system intuitive and doesn't remove the ability to backpedal when riding. After one full backpedal at the cranks, the system partially engages. Once the shaft rotates another 180 degrees, it fully engages. Once the rider pedals forwards, it disengages. Here's an alternate view of the same process. Using the test setup, we were able to demonstrate the system works as designed. Because the test setup lacks brakes, we had to stop the system by hand. For safety, the reverse system is not allowed to engage when the vehicle is moving faster than one mile per hour. This is demonstrated in this clip along with the next. To increase ease of use, the system is also programmed to disengage after a few seconds of no user input as shown here. While the system performs very well, some lessons learned are that the engagement system could be simplified substantially. The current design requires an exceptionally long time to machine without the use of CNC. Additionally, future implementations may want to include a backup camera and a renewable power source such as solar panels to run the system.